Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB with Sataki USB-C Power Meter. Now the kind of idea here is to weed out those really crappy cables that you may pick up somewhere. So are those cables really doing what they're supposed to be doing? Are they giving you too much power that could hurt your machine? Well, using this little power meter, you can read all that information going in and out of your USB-C device. The power meter is very small. It's a really good size. It has Sataki printed along the back a USB-C input on one side because this does allow pass-through charging, obviously, or it really wouldn't make sense. And of course, just the other end is the mail sign that you can plug into your machine. It has a really nice legible screen on there so you can see all that information, which let's go through and see what you can actually read using the power meter. It'll boot up right away as soon as something is plugged into it. First, you'll see in the top left corner the voltage in volts. Then in the top right hand corner, you'll see the current going into your machine, which is going to be in amps. And in the lower left hand side, you will see the current over time in milliamp hours. That'll show you how much power has gone into your machine since it started charging. You can also get the power by multiplying the volts times the amps. If you remember that old electrical equation, P equals AV, which will give you the power in watts. You'll also notice that little arrow there in the bottom right hand corner. That's going to tell you which way the electricity is flowing, whether it's going into your machine or if it's going out. So if you're charging your phone, it's going to be going from your computer to your phone. If you're charging your laptop, it's going into your laptop. Same thing if you're using like an adapter for a Thunderbolt drive, that power is going to be going out to power that external drive. And again, this is great to test out those external cables or those third party cables like Belkin or other shady ones that you might find on Amazon to really be sure that they're not going to harm your machine and they're acting as they should. If you want to nerd out and get this information for yourself, we've gone ahead and put a link below in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like it. Subscribe. Until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.